All right, I'm gonna try to do a short episode right here outside of Art Miami. And today on this coffee break or this Cuban coffin coffee break, I just wanna talk about patience. Patience is like, it's something that's so important for people, especially if you're a mover and shaker. At times things work in your, in your favor and you move in and you don't have to wait. You don't have to be patient. You can be demanding and that's fine. A lot of us want to get there. That's a sign of success and power and respect. But what happens today when you're not in a familiar place and nobody knows you and you can't quite move the way that you're used to? What do you do then? It's those behaviors that, that like, you know, spew up whenever impatience sets in. And if you haven't had to practice it in a while, it might surprise what awaits. So today, as we're rushing in traffic, as we're rushing to get in before this thing is over, think about how you will respond when patience has run out, when there's no favor, when there's no one holding the door, when things, when you get all the red lights, when there's a car wreck on the freeway, when there's no access to things like this, that is when your true colors show up. So next time that you lose your temper because things don't move as fast as you want, think to yourself, like, why did I behave that way? And is that the way that I behaved appropriate? Um, it's justified in the moment because it's very emotional. And, and I understand we've all been there. You can hear those whistles. They're just like, they're pushing you to be impatient, to hurry up and move, move, move. And I, I understand that. But let's be people who are patient because this world is getting more packed and things are moving uh, at, at a faster pace. I mean, people want things at a faster pace, but it seems that everything is slowing down where it kind of is creating like the stressful environments where they didn't used to exist. I remember being able to get a coffee and be in and out. And now it's super packed. Now it takes a little bit longer. And so ask yourself, what are you expecting? And if it doesn't go your way, how do you expect yourself to behave? And the reason that patience is so important is because it doesn't have so much to do with you but it has to do with so many people around you. And a lot of them are just doing their job. They're just doing their things. A lot of things are out of our control and their control. And it's easy to attack. It's easy to say, me, 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 me. But when we all work together, um, when and, and when we do lose our patience, I think it's okay. Just as long as we don't bite someone's head off, as long as we don't, you know, disrespect people. Patience is key. And so as you drink your cup of coffee, it's funny because it's so hot that you don't have no choice but to drink it slow. If not, you're gonna get burned. And sometimes in life, you know, maybe look at it that way, that sometimes we don't have a choice. Take it easy before you get burned, before something doesn't work in your favor and things really get upside down. Um, but yeah, there you go. Enjoy your cup of coffee. This is a short one. This is gonna be about four to five minutes long. Thank you for tuning in to the coffee break. I am your host, Sam Escobar. Remember, this is brought to you by The Felt Podcast. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much. Show patience. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. I know it's hard, but it seems like it's more necessary now more than ever. Have a good one. Y'all be good for Miami.